the Corpus Augusti, or better known as Claudio Nerva, was founded by Claudius in 32 AC and finished by Nero in 64. It was built to have the congested port of Ostia. Here we can see the little basin of uh, Ostia, the first port of Ostia, and then here the port of Claudius. To save on food, the last ship that Caligula had wanted to transport the colossal, the colossal obelisk from Egypt to the Vatican Circus was used to condition of the lighthouse here. It was a monumental work, but insufficient and sometimes dangerous in the event of, of storm. So, <clears throat> the Emperor Trajanus, at the beginning of the second century uh, AC, built a large ex hexagonal, ex hexagonal basin more than uh, 32 hectares, still visible today, and still used today. The rule of the port of Claudius began in late antiquity. In the <coughs> Renaissance, the coast, of the, <coughs> the coast advanced until almost the end of the two years. Now we have the port completely buried <coughs> sorry, by the sands and some years by the mortar structures. Here the, the area of the port we can see the modern center of Fiumicino and the Leonardo da Vinci Airport is here. Uh, in 1916, when the Leonardo da Vinci Airport was built, a section of the North Pier was excavated, but only for 750 meters. The Superintendenza of Ostia tried to excavation, but did not find anything uh, under two meters. A large part of the piers was destroyed and the remains were, uh, were too deep. For this reason, the reconstruction proposed, especially in the last century, were wrong. But in the last two decades, numerous geological investigations conducted by foreign institutions and Italian have helped to outline the contours and orientation of the Porto Augustium. Now, the extensions of the basin. 200 hectares, the land of the two piers, 1,060 meters for the north pier, the north pier is this, uh, 1,320 meters for the south pier, this is Fiumicino. And the location of the Highland the Lighthouse are now clear, the lighthouse is here. The research continues thanks to the various project, the University of Huelva is digging the model of the Lanterna, uh, it's like here. And the conference said the uh, from uh, the Moro Traverse and the British School at Rome has been working for years with the Portus project. Despite the research, there are several aspects that of the Arbo complex still obscure. Uh, I would like to start with the famous statues of Nero, this, that was often used as a model for reconstructed hypothesis. The car represents a basin with two converging arms here, uh, here, and the, uh, and the Highland Lighthouse in the middle, surmounted by colossal statue here. The right pier uh, seems to be an opus pilarum, like a, a long arch bridge, while the left pier have a continuous foundation on which are founded the portico building and the temple here, uh, with maybe an altar. In the basin, we can see seven ships of different size and shape, and at the bottom of the harbor, a water god here for representation of the harbor. In recent times, the representation of the harbor has been discovered as a real document because, for example, the new features of the both piers have continuous foundation. However, I think that the image of the port in the coin, taking any case into account the schematization of the representation, uh, could be more truthful than the scholars think. As far as the southern world is concerned, the various investigations have found a continuous foundation pier. Traces, uh, traces of two buildings were found above the level of the pier. In Earth's coin, there is a portico building here, with two glabbed entrances, which could be traced back to the found structures. The structure could be the defining sets of war houses, such as those that have been discovered above the internal pier of the Portus Iulius in the Lacus Lucrinus Baia, it's uh, near Naples. This is the Portus Iulius, the internal basin, 
and this is the channel. And here is, there was the lax greens. Um, we know it very well because. Um, oh, sorry. The no part of the North PR frequency is when it's okay. Um, uh, the lack of system by they keep it with the particle along the front. The no part of the North PR frequency is foundation structures. However, however, we know only this part of Northern Pier, and we know a good part of the building that lies under the Leonardo da Vinci airport. After them, the list in the final part can be found in some portal. Uh, structure like in the case of the piers of the access channel of the Lacus Lucrinus. Here we can see uh, one, two, three, and four, five piles, Tremititus piles, uh, that was connected by arches. Uh, and here, the Portus Julius, <coughs> there was an Opus Pularum, the Opus Pularum of Petroli, Petroli. We know it very well because it was covered by the new dam only uh, at the end of the 19th century. And even for the famous glass flask, where the piers is always present, like this, this uh, from Babylonia uh, in Tuscany, this is the representation of the Opus Pilarum here, with uh, an arch and columns with statues. Um, another port with an arch dam could be the Portus Lunium in the east of Liguria. Here we have. Here, the archaeology of Sorbinian Densa found some fragments of the pier, and it was hypothesized that it, it would be an archer dam. More analogies, we can find the magnificent and good preserved part of Civita Vecchia, always in Italy, Portus at Centum Chalas. It was built by the Emperor Trajanus, used for and renovated from Renaissance, and in part destroyed by the bombing of the island in the Second World War. The south dam, the uh, south pier here yeah, uh, was completely destroyed, but uh, we have the, some uh, photos that can help us. The mode of this port is obviously the Portus Augusti. We can see two converging dams, two converging piers, and internal Darsena, and the island with the lighthouse, probably in the middle. This is the Darsena, the internal Darsena, like in the Portus Augusti, the uh, west pier and the uh, east pier. Well, uh, this is the island with the lighthouse. Uh, we don't know where is the lighthouse, but maybe in the middle. The west uh, pier, starting from Darsena, is an archer then, and with the lighthouse. Lenzo Quilici thinks that the sea currents coming from southeast collide against the east pier and the island lighthouse. Thanks even to the curved line shape of them. And then the sea currents came out from the west mouth of the port and under the arches of the west pier. This solution could clean the backdrop, preventing the burden of the basin, and then in case of in case of rust sea, could reduce the undertow. Faleti thinks that the archer pier couldn't help to prevent the burial of the basin, and maybe this is right. But we must say that the Romans think, maybe think that uh, this kind of solution really cannot reduce the burial of the port, and in any case, the current could clean the surface of the sea, preventing stagnation. So we saw some Roman archer piers, and this could be even the case of the unknown part, of the unknown segments of the, the Portus Augusti, of the north pier of the, of the Portus Augusti. Another point to the coin is the position of the li uh, island, island like towers. Uh, in 1830, Carina made a new uh, reconstruction of the port, very different from the others of Renaissance. This is uh, um, Ignazio Dante in Vatican Museum. We can see uh, this is the North Pier, with a, it's an archer pier. We can see the Iron Lighthouse and uh, the South Pier with the, the port, two porticos building and the, the temples. Here, the statue is here, the, the position is wrong. The statue was maybe up to the lighthouse. Uh, is it uh, what is it? Uh, successful for 150 years, and only with the Castagnoli, finally with Giuliani, that we have the position of the island lighthouse at the mouth of the port. The new research revealed more detail, and now we know the exact position. This is incredible because it, this is a plan of uh, Labacco, uh, it's a Renaissance, Renaissance -like artist, an architect. Uh, this is a very uh, it's incredible because, because now the, the, the new reconstruction is like this, with two dams, converging dams, and the island lighthouse in this position. Uh, 
The new investigation revealed a basin of uh, 200 actors instead of one, uh, 150 like Castagno and Lou, you think. Uh, the two scores made their hypothesis thanks to some aerial picture where we can see the shape and the length of the pier. In particular, the north of that, uh, north pier is located more close to the coast. Uh, the wall can also see from the satellite type photos. Here's the touch of Giuliani. We can see this is the segment that the, it was found in 1960 where the airport of Leonardo da Vinci was built. Uh, this is the airport of Leonardo da Vinci. And then the island uh, lighthouse. And here, this is the Fiumicino Channel. Here, the uh, south uh, pier. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the uh, satellite photo where we can see this structure. This is the structure that see uh, Giuliani in the aerial photos. We can see here we have the, the segments of the North Pier that was discovered. Here at the airport of Leonardo da Vinci. So Giuliani thinks the, 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 the pier was like this. And the island. Here. Uh, but what is it? It's difficult to say. And I think all in archaeological investigation in that area can solve the question. I can show you another pic picture. Okay, this is uh, uh, another satellite photo. And we can see another structure here where Giuliani thinks there is the lighthouse. Um, I, but I think, I think it's very difficult to say what is it. Uh, and only in archaeological investigation we can solve the question. I want to conclude saying uh, that our success of Nero, despite its schematization, is useful in some way to have an idea of the port, not so far from reality. Thanks for your attention. Right. Any comments? Any questions? Um, there's a, um, in one of the maps there was some kind of screen, uh, so so this was basically used to keep, keep the harbor basin um, um, free from from silting up to have always um, where what. So, the, so they integrated the runoff of a stream or a small river into into that. Oh, the, uh, this map. Yes. Uh, here. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Giuliani <laughs> take uh, an aerial photo. Okay. Yes. Uh, he saw this. This is a for him is a channel. Yes. But because in the there is the a grass mark, crop marks in the. On the ground, you saw that this uh, more is a gray grass, and uh, this this uh, piece is. Uh, you can see there is uh, uh, the wall is this, mm -hmm. and these two yellow uh, line may probably uh, were the, the sands, barrel of sand. So they they think this, but. The new research with scorings is uh, uh, no. here. Okay, Giuliani thinks that the 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 piers is was like this in this direction. Okay, so the the base was uh, uh, one hundred fifty hectares. The new research uh, discovered some uh, structures from a structure here and here. So the lighthouse is not here, but here, and the pierce is like this, with this shape. And the south pier even, the Giuliani thinks that uh, ended here. The new research uh, established that ended here, near this way. So uh, 200 hectares instead of 150. But there is something. What is it? And this is what Giuliani uh, and Castagnoli saw. It's a structure. And there is another here. Not here. This is a, uh, this is a modern channel of the airport. 
if you see if you see this. Can you go back to the uh, map with the black drainage channel? Yeah, this. this? Um, no. Or the white? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a... Uh, mm. uh, uh, this is the airport, okay? okay. This is the airport. This is the, the segment uh, that uh, they described in 1960. And, okay, this is the airport. And this is the segment of the Northern Pier. So Giuliani thinks like this, mm. okay? That's something. This is for more question. Uh, the area that has been indicated as a possible location for the light for the lighthouse, what is the current the cadastral status of the land? Does it be belong to the airport? Uh, what would be the legal uh, 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 problems in digging there? Uh, it's uh, the port. Uh, uh, light uh, island lighthouse is here, so it's a private uh, and. Um, the airport is here. This uh, and then in the north. But the, from the, this way that this Coccio di Morto uh, it's only private uh, land. Okay. They, they think it is an island like Charles here. Mm -hmm. It could be even here like Julian think. Mm -hmm. Because they found it. They, they made all the coring like this, no? This is the new coring. Uh, the light, lighthouse is here. So they found all the uh, concrete. Nothing else. They didn't find the, 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 the island. Maybe the Roman, maybe in, in uh, Trajanus age, they built another, oh my gosh, another, uh, no, Giuliana. Another pier, maybe to protect the old pier. Mm -hmm. It could be. Yeah, I see. It could be. Mm -hmm. How far it is from the current sea? The current sea for mm -hmm. now? Yes. Uh, it's uh, three or four kilometers. All right. Uh, I have the image, baby. Okay. This is the reconstruction of Renaissance, and now the the. The course is like this. Uh, no, I don't have it. So all the the port of Gladio is buried. Uh, Only the the basin of Trajano uh, is spectacular. Here's the some area for houses. Ah, and. Uh, South Pier is the is here. So under the parking, under the houses. So, okay. Do you have any ideas of how they um, prevented the harbor from setting up? In the Roman age. Yeah, um, because this is a common problem. So and, and <laughs> on one of they built another basin. They, they built um, another basin because they, they can prevent uh, the. It, it's, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, on one of the older paintings, you, you saw um, this? Yes, this one the canal going north. And this is the north. Maybe. Oh, ah, okay. This is the south. <laughs> no, no, it's. And uh, maybe they. Re we uh, redirected the stream part, partly to uh, to wash out the sediment. Ah, this this channel. Yes. Yeah, this is the Fiumicino channel. Yes. Right. But this is even for the flood of the, of Tiber. Mm. Tiber. Uh, there is another channel that it was found uh, two years ago by Simon Key, uh, but uh, I think uh, no. Yeah, maybe I have it. It's the first. Oh. This is perfect. This is the Fossa Traiano, the Fiumicino channel, this, and this is the South Pier. There's another channel here that uh, connected the Tiber with uh, a lagoon in, nor in the north of the Portus. So there's a, a lagoon, another entrance, a second entrance, 
and another channel, this channel and this channel. Mm. So this is, there is a lagoon. So the, and this the Mount Arena was a amount of sand, amount of sand. And the canal is there also? This was the one which was also I know, shown can, in the... In the canal so is, um, it was built by uh, Trajanus. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not uh, by Clyde, so later. Even maybe the northern can uh, canal, but mm. maybe by, by Clyde is, we don't know now. This is a very, very new research. So uh, the airport is here now. The Arnaldo da Vinci Airport. Yeah. Do, do you know, uh, just for comparison, uh, even in the modern period, not even thinking back into uh, the Roman period, what is the prevalent direction of currents along the coast? Mm. Is it north south or south north? Uh, it's south north. The, the prevent white wind is the south in the beach on Scirocco. So the currents like in the south, no, uh, south north. And I think for this, that this pier is a continuous relation. It's a massive pier. Mm -hmm. And then the north pier mm -hmm. is different. Maybe it's a notch. Yeah, yeah you see where I was going with this. Yeah. yeah. And did the, mm, I think the example we can. Oh, Civita Vecchia, a Porto San Centum Chalas, is the same because it's in the same position in terrain and sea, um, 30 kilometers pro, uh, from uh, the Portus. The um, south uh, pier is continuous foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the current, uh, current uh, came from the southeast. Mm -hmm. Touch, uh, collide to the the pier, mm -hmm. and you you can see the, the shape of the pier. It's a uh, curve in shape, mm -hmm. and then the 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 higher light jumps. Mm -hmm. So the current can enter here, and can came out from or this uh, axis or under the arched bridge. Okay. Yeah. And, you can see the. This is the arched bridge. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, maybe some more question to the last three papers or some comments to the earlier presentations. Uh, I have a question for the port of Carson. Mm -hmm. The amphora that. Uh, you found are late Roman, yeah. late Roman one or two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Yeah, it, it is just like from uh, late Roman, so it's a little bit of a like yeah. from post to some standpoint, and there's uh, 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 this navigation in this period, and we have a lot of shippers associated with this period. Uh, maybe just uh, one sentence about the uh, Dana Islands uh, to, to come, uh, complete. Uh, I mean, uh, the number of the uh, sleepways is uh, astonishing over there. But uh, uh, I think the question which Professor uh, uh, Onis and his team have to face is the uh, chronology. It is uh, what I know from some comments and from some co colleagues. I mean, how do you prove it is a Bronze Age? Because uh, it is the most ex exciting part. It is a Bronze Age, yes or not? Uh, of course, they are not uh, single phase. They are multi phase because they overcut each other, the, uh, the sleepways. And the uh, conclusion, which is now, is basically from the material, either from underwater or from the land, which is uh, on Dana Islands. There are also some written evidence about the islands, uh, and I know uh, Hakan will explain that earlier, and he actually used this written evidence as well. But uh, basically, uh, uh, if we look from archaeological point of view, the most of the material start from the 6th century BC. So 
it is basically out of uh, uh, Bronze Age, beginning uh, or rather uh, early Iron Age, but it's still still an uh, interesting place and in interesting uh, location. If you don't have any more questions, uh, comments to the, the whole session, I'm very sorry to have been Yes, I just, I just uh, uh, wanted to ask you, but I don't know if I can uh, told you or not, uh, but from the presentation uh, that you gave for him, uh, there seems to be a clear separation in distribution. The cisterns are on the seaside of the island, mm -hmm. and the slipways are on the strait, the mainland side facing yeah. the island. And it, did, did he tell you anything about the possible reason for this, possible explanation mm -hmm. for this clear differentiation uh, on two sides of the island, one for the cisterns, the other for the slipways? Uh, I don't know anything about that, so uh, I cannot answer this question. And yeah. I think we also have to look that the, the island is not occupied now. So basically, uh, is this, uh, the question which has to be raised is the uh, st state of research over there. Okay. Uh, because the first were, of course, the slipways that were uh, found in 2015, uh, and then they started to move with the archaeology uh, on the land and uh, find this uh, cistern. And uh, I mean, they could be from different periods as well. I mean, uh, I mean, the remains of the church, which is obviously uh, uh, from uh, from different periods as well. Um, but uh, it is something which I'm not able uh, to, uh, to tell you, but the, the written evidence which uh, uh, Hacken used uh, uh, to sort of support his theories are also quite, uh, quite interesting, but uh, um, definitely it's the place which needs uh, further, uh, further research. Uh, one, uh, one more time, I'm very sorry that we miss uh, uh, two of uh, almost three uh, papers from the session. It is uh, out of uh, our control a little bit. And as I also mentioned earlier, um, if you have the will and uh, have uh, some spare time, maybe we could move uh, our uh, less formal discussion to, to the bar and sort of discuss that over over the beer uh, and. Any of you is very welcome, and thank you very much. Uh, it was nice to uh, have you here in this room, and uh, uh, thank you for your contribution and uh, for your uh, sort of participation in the session.